What is up guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, we are gonna be going out to the Rubicon Trail, myself, Bronco Detours. Check him out on Instagram, guys. I'll link his channel here below. And we're gonna be hitting the Rubicon. We're gonna be having a blast. Stay tuned. Now guys, this is not gonna be a video talking about, oh, look at the Rubicon, it's so cool, kind of showing you the trails. There's already plenty of videos out there about that. Uh, check out Weekends Away Points. He just did the Rubicon. He's got a great video on the subject. Check out Trail Militia. They also did it. They have a fantastic video as well with tons of awesome drone shots. Check those guys out. This is more of a relaxed trip. Me and my friend and my dog, we're gonna be going out hitting the Rubicon. No plans, just have some fun. We'll see how far we get in. And we're gonna be testing out some of the products that we have on our Broncos, because that's right, guys. We don't do any kind of crazy insta landing here, overlanding. We do wheeling, so check it out. So the first contender, guys, we got my Bronco. You know it. We got a Metal Cloak front bumper, Metal Cloak rear bumper. We have the Cali Fabrication sliders that are frame mounted. We got the Battleborn wheels. We got the stock axles up front and the back, the M210 and the M220. We have uh, Keen Suspension Tune by AccuTune. We have the Icon uppers. We have the full Bronc Buster 2.0 system on the front end. And that's pretty much it, guys, for the outside underneath. We have an Icon front diff skid. We have the Metal Cloak front skid as well for the bumper. And then we have a Talon's Garage transmission skid, which we're going to be testing that out. And then we got the Metal Cloak rear links as well with some various types of armor on the diff and shock mounts and that sort of thing. So we're going to be testing this all out, guys. Something you hopefully, I hope you wish, wish you saw more of, but basically... I'm kind of tired of people throwing stuff on and being like, hey guys, buy this product. It's great. It looks great. Here's how it installs. I want to show you how it performs on the trail, guys. So we're going to be testing this out and showing you how it performs. That's the intent of this video. Check out the other channels for the actual Rubicon. All right, guys, for the other Bronco, well, both of them have the hammer belt, mine and his, the tire carrier. He's got the ADD rear bumper. He's got the core 4x4 links in the back and track bar. The Icon beadlock retention technology wheels, still running his stock 35, been working great for him. He's got the ADS suspension set up. He's got the Metal Tech sliders. And something I want to point out is that the ADS suspension, this is the first Bronco on the Rubicon, consumer Bronco on the Rubicon with ADS. The only other Bronco out here with ADS was the Test Bronco stock Sasquatch. And that one did phenomenally. He's got the SPC upper control arms. He's got the JCR front bumper, Smitty built winch. I'm running the Warren on mine both great winches and yeah uh, pretty much it we're gonna be showing you the difference in uh, how the sliders hold up the rear links some of the articulation in the back how the bumpers hold up and we'll see if we break something You might get beached, but we'll see. Right, guys we started at 10 a.m half hour through gatekeeper which we're through now we're on the next section right before the slabs so much slower than the jeep but still powering through use the heck out of those cali fab and metal tech sliders right there doing some pivots on the rocks full weight of the broncos so far nothing no bending fantastic Keep that. You're good. Straight. Cool. Now you see my Bronco? 
Tchau, tchau, tchau. Right, guys we are a little over a mile into the trail so far so good we do have one bit of damage already and that's gonna be well who knew it dv8 fender liners now if you've been watching my instagram uh i don't like these things they are garbage they don't give you extra clearance and they catch on the tires at full stuff and just get all tore up so i gotta bend this back real quick because it's all over my tire it's making a lot of noise it's annoying the heck out of me Now straighten out just a touch, right there. Yep, turn, there you go. Come straight, straight, yeah. Go passenger, go passenger. Big rock, big rock. Didn't scrape there. Keep that line. Okay, we've made it to this obstacle called Kobe's Rock. Now, I'm not sure where it got its name from, but I'd like to rename it, at least for the Bronco groups, Patty's Rock, because every Jeepers Jamboree, I come out here, and I sit right here, and I guide every single Jeep through. So I've got experience of about 150 Jeeps spotting through this obstacle. And it scares people pretty bad because they want to go to the right and they want to get on this rock because this is a sheer rock and it freaks them out. What they don't know is if you get on this rock too much, it pushes you into that rock and that's no bueno. So the best line for Jeeps at least, we'll see if it's the same on Broncos, is to hug this with your tire as tight as you can. That way your body can't really kick over anymore and you're going to lift up and then your passenger tire is going to climb here and you'll squeeze right through the V. Up and over and out. So let's see if it'll work on the Broncos. driver Nice, good pivot.
right guys, it's the next morning. We're gonna be heading out from Buck Island and we're gonna be pushing on out of the Rubicon. Uh, so far, everything's holding up well. We do have some damage that we'll report to you at the end of this video, but uh, stay tuned and let's head on out. And yes, we, uh, we cooled our ash and we packed our trash. Keep turning. All right guys, we just made it to Rubicon Springs. The trip down uh, Big Sluice and coming down through those obstacles at the end of it as well were uh, pretty fun. Got some gnarly scrapes on the sliders, used the heck out of them. They're still fine though, but stay tuned for what broke on the trail at the end of this video. Now we're gonna go head up Cadillac Hill, get to Observation Point, take some quick shots, then head out to Tahoe. That was kind of too far. <laughs> You gotta turn that way. Yeah. Straight, straight. Yep, right there. Up. It's not going forward, just sliding. Keep trying. Good. That's it guys, two Broncos on the Rubicon, two days, halfway to Buck Island, and then the rest of the way out the next day. It was a blast, all the armor showed up. I just wanted to do this trip guys to show you, like hey, the parts I've chosen for my Bronco and then what my buddy chose for his, they're chosen with the purpose, they're chosen with companies that stand behind their products, that wheel their products. So we wanted to show you guys their products wheeling on the Rubicon and how they hold up. So big shout out to uh, Icon, to Talon's Garage, to Metal Cloak. Oh, and then something else I wanted to notate, guys. The Keen suspension from AccuTune on my Bronco were, was fantastic. On the Jeep, a lot of times, as I'm on the trails and I'm coming up obstacles, it bounces and it will sway. And when I have that sway, it just it freaks you out. It gets you unstable. But the Keen suspension with the AccuTune, man, it just it cruised. It actually felt, even though you have to be careful with your lines, with the IFS, it was a much more relaxing trip in the Bronco than it was on my Jeep. Like legit, you're just traveling in comfort and it's really comfortable ride. It rides really well. And when you come off the rocks and you land, it just like plants and that's it. There's no sway, there's nothing crazy, it's very stable. So big shout out to AccuTune. Thank you so much for the tune, it works really well. Highly suggest you guys check them out. That's it, so see you next time. Cool your ash, pack your trash. Okay, starting off on the front, uh, not really anything. 
other than I uh, bent this little clip up a little bit on the winch. That's it. We got some new rock rash, obviously, on the D-rings. Skid plates are fine on the front. They took some hits, but they're not really showing. And then on the front here, no damage. Everything looks good. Coming around to this side. Again, some dings on the skid plates, but no damage. The front diff skid took a lot of heavy hits. I'll show you that later on my Instagram, but uh, it's still retaining the same shape. I uh, rock rashed the heck out of my wheels on the rock rings, but that's what they're for. And then I used the heck out of my sliders, guys. I was not easy on my sliders. I hit them every opportunity I could. I pivoted on them. I uh, landed on them pretty darn hard a couple times, supporting the full weight of the Bronco. And they retained their same shape, and they did not bend, which is how they're supposed to be. Now, these are the Califab, Califab sliders, like I said. It has this kick out, and I used that kick out several times to push the Bronco away from rocks that otherwise would have gone into my quarter panel area. I uh, used the heck out of my rock rings, like I said. These bolts keep like backing out over time, and then I just keep putting them back in, but they're not falling out, so that's good. I'll put some Loctite on them eventually, probably. And then moving on to the back. Metal cloak bumper took some heavy hits, but no damage. My back tire actually backed off an obstacle, wedged my tire in, and I thought I was going to pin my tailgate, but there's no damage at all. Thanks to hammer built reinforcement, saved my tailgate that time. And then coming around this side, same thing, rock rash. The sliders underneath, it's hard to see right now because they're covered in mud, but they're just abused the whole length of them. More rock rash. That's pretty much it, guys. No body damage on the Bronco. Let's look underneath real quick and see if we could see something. Now looking underneath, you got the Talons Garage skid, and you got the Icon front diff skid, and you got the Ford factory transfer case skids and fuel tanks. Uh, no damage. No damage whatsoever. I did hit the heck out of them, but they retain their shape. And then over here, I scraped on pretty much everything back here, but everything retained its shape, nothing broke, nothing gave. The one thing, guys, that I did not like about this Bronco on the trail, these DV8's inner fender liners, don't get them. They don't work as advertised, like I've explained in previous videos, but all the mounts are broken on them, they're rattling all over the place. My tire's catching on them and bending them up. It's, it's no bueno, guys. All kinds of no bueno. Now over here on the other Bronco, JCR front bumper took an abuse, no damage. Same thing with his skid plates, no damage. Hit the heck out of them, but they worked fine, RCI. He used the heck out of his Metal Tech sliders and no damage. They retained their shape, they did not bend. Rock rash, same as me. He smacked the heck out of his rear bumper. It's still there. It did not bend up either. That's the ADD rear bumper. And then looking back, uh, he hit pretty much every inch of armor he has as well, but no damage to speak of. So that's pretty much that's pretty much it, guys. Oh, he did get. He scraped a little bit right here on a rock. It's covered in mud, but there's an abrasion in the metal right there. And then you can kind of see a little bit of it. A little bit of it right there and a little bit right there super minor so otherwise no issues